Hi and welcome to my home. Once again, this is my favorite place of the house to do my knitting. It's very light and it's comfortable. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about color stranding with the help of a yarn guide. And this is the hat that I'm using. And the yarn guide, this is what I call what it's called, it's by Clover, it's a yarn guide. And what happens is you put it in your forefinger, you grab the two, three, or four strands of yarn, and you lay them across on top. You secure it in place. And what the yarn guide does is that it helps you not get your threads tangled. I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the burgundy first, okay, and now the gold, and you can see that it doesn't tangle because it's held into place. And the advantage of this is that you don't have your yarn threads in a twist. It's very useful and this is the f right side and this is the wrong side if there is such a thing. I believe that when you're making a hat sometimes a hat can have wrong and right side being the right side. And to the request of some people that want me to model the hat, this is the latest hat. It's Lamb's Pride very nice. I often make a loopy at the back of the hat so that I know that it's the back. It also is good for hanging the hat. And here I am. It fits very well. It's very nice. And here I have the other hat, which is the Order of the Crow. It's a Hufflepuff. Yes a warlock's hat with a diamond, a bird-like figure, which I think is a crow, and like a badger or a dog. This also has a front and a back, and it fits very well. They're very comfortable. And I want to thank you for this afternoon and allowing me to share my knowledge with you. And that's all for today.